let's continue our exploration of third declension nouns. Uh, as has happened with the first three uh, versions of third declension nouns, we're going to have the same basic endings, uh, nothing, os, e, a, es, on, sin, as, uh, but what happens uh, when, when you have a consonant, especially that sin, uh, on a, another consonant, in this case it's going to be the rho, uh, what happens to the rho and the sin will make all the difference. And we'll see most of these are going to, they're just going to follow both of them together. Uh, we're going to have or seen or are seen. So let's take a look. Uh, again, the dative plural is your, uh, is, is going to be your challenge. Let's continue our exploration of third declension nouns. Now we're going to look at nouns whose stems end in rho. Uh, there are actually going to be three different types of these. Uh, we're going to have the basic type. We're going to have uh, another sort of exception to that. Uh, and then we're going to find uh, one further exception, which fortunately is really it's only, uh, is only found in one basic uh, word. So let's... Let's continue our exploration of third declension nouns. Now we're going to look at nouns whose stems end in R. Uh, in Let's continue our exploration of third declension nouns. Now we're going to look at nouns whose stems end in rho. Uh, we're going to find there are three types of these, uh, the basic type. Then we're going to find ones whose nominative is in ter. Uh, and there's going to be some, some exceptions here. Fortunately, there aren't that many nouns that end in this. And then we're going to finally look at one particular uh, noun whose stem ends in rho, and that is the word ho'aner, man, uh, and this is sort of its own unique uh, noun. So let's look at the base ones first. Uh, we have the noun ho'soter, savior. So soter, soteros. So just as we've always done, we need to look at the genitive to find the stem, soter, it's epsilon. And we add our endings, soteri, sotera, o soter. And notice in most of these uh, third declension nouns whose stems end in rho, the accent is going to be recessive. Um, it's not necessarily in, uh, or it's not recessive in the other cases. So, o soter, hoi soteres, ton soteron. These are regular. And then the dative, tois sotersi. So, what happens when you have the row followed by the ending scene? Nothing at all. We just add the scene ending on it. So, so ter scene. Uh, we would have the same with the word rator, speaker, rator scene. Uh, and then the accusative to soteras, o soteres. So the vocative plural is perfectly regular. It's just like the nominative. Right, so the only things to really keep in mind here is that the vocative, the accent is recessive. And in the dative plural, the row stays in. Let's take a look at another example. A monosyllable. Hother, beast. Hother, and this is like other monosyllabic third declensions. Uh, in the dative and genitive, the accent is going to be on the final syllable. So hother, to theros, there's our stem. Totheri, tonthera, hother. Nominative is the same as the, or the, accus the vocative is the same as the nominative. And the plural hotheres, Tonteron, toistersi, and just like we had with sotersi, the rho and sigma live right alongside, tusteras, otheres. So, uh, this is a pretty standard, pretty straightforward, pretty easy uh, type of noun to memorize. Now let's add a little change up. That is going to be stems who actually have three different forms. Uh, they're either going to be ter, with an eta, this we call the strong stem. Ter with an epsilon, we call that the middle stem, middle strength. And then tr, this is the weak 
no vowel at all. And nouns like this are going to be like ho pater, he meter, mother, he thugater, uh, daughter. So we have this ter. Uh, so ho pater, father, we have the strong stem. And that's going to shift to the weak stem in the genitive and dative singulars. So tu patros, to patri. So the endings are exactly as you'd expect, but the stem has uh, shifted to the weak version. And then the accusative, ton patera, uh, that's used the middle. Right? So, so far, the only time you see the strong is going to be in the nominative singular. So ho pater, tu patros, to patri, ton patera, and then the vocative is the stem, ho pater, and notice the accent is recessive. Now, in the plural, we're going to use, like we did for the accusative singular, we're going to use the middle strength stem. So, hoi pateres, ton pateron, but in the dative plural, tois patrasi, we're actually going to insert an alpha in there. So, the stem is the weak form, but instead of going patrisin, we need to add the alpha between the two consonants. So patrasin, and then back to the middle strength, tus pateres, tus pateras, that's a regular ending, and then the vocative, o pateres. So, thing to keep in mind is we've got the strong, only found in the nominative singular. We get the weak, found in the genitive and dative singular. We get the middle, found in the accusative, singular, nominative, plural, genitive, plural, and accusative, plural. And then, in the dative, plural, we're going to have to insert an alpha between the weak stem and the ending. And this will work with mater. metros, metri, metera, meteres, meteron, metrasin, meteres, or thugater, daughter, uh, all of those ter type nouns, aster, star, and so on. Now, we have that one last one, on air, man. Uh, here, very similar to uh, what we saw with the, with pater, Aner, Andros, right, our stem, for pronunciation purposes, the delta has snuck in there between the new and the rho. So we again have with that weak stem, to Andros, to Andri, but that weak stem is going to stay in. Ton Andra, and the vocative, there we see the middle stem, Aner. The weak stem again shows up, Hoi Andres, Ton Andron, Tois Andrasi. So just like pater, patrasi, mat, meter, metres, metrasi, aner, andrasi, and tus, andras, o, andres. So aner is really its own beast. There is some regularity there, uh, understanding that the delta has creeped in, that we've got that weak stem, we've got the weak stem throughout, and that weak stem requires the alpha to be inserted between the rho and the sigma and the dative plural.